uh, we are dispatched to a uh, report of a two-year-old choking. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I was approximately a block and a half away. And when I responded to the scene, uh, I was probably there about 30 seconds after they dispatched it. And the mother and there were some other females were holding the child in the middle of the street. And you could tell that he was turning like a bluish gray and that he wasn't getting oxygen into his, into his body. And they said he had been choking on a piece of candy. Well, I knew that, obviously, I mean, you could tell he was obviously choking, so we just, I reverted back to my, our first aid training that we're required to have every year and um, proceeded to hold the child upside down and administer back blows. After a while, we determined it wasn't quite working. Um, it wasn't coming out, and at times he was kind of fading in and out of consciousness because he wasn't getting the air that he needed, and uh, at that time, Sergeant Greathouse and Officer Martinez Bender arrived, and we just made a decision. By the time the ambulance got there, it was going to be too late, so we just, I hopped in the back of the car, Officer Martinez Bender drove, and I headed north of the hospital. You're trying not to hurt anybody, but you realize that's going to be the least of the problems if you don't get it out. So you just, you keep going, and that's, we're trained to keep doing it until either the ambulance get there or you get them to the hospital, and even in the back of the car. I, I, he was getting some air, because as he was laying flat on the, on the car, like on the seat, and I was holding him. He was crying a little bit. So I knew he was at least getting some kind of air, but it wasn't all the air that he needed. So uh, when we got in the ER, obviously they were aware we were coming in because they their dispatch does monitor our frequency. They knew we were coming in with the child, not in an ambulance. So there was uh, some paramedics on the ramp waiting for us because that was the first thing I did was hand them out of the door to uh, one of the paramedics. And they took him in, and the doctors were pretty much waiting there, the nurses. They started working on him, but then just took him right back to the trauma bay. I didn't hear anything from the doctor. Once I found out it got out, I saw what it was. It was a piece of candy, and then he just said that's. He showed me what was in there, and then I left. And and later on, when I was leaving, the one of our other sergeants came over and said something that the doctor told him that that the kid had probably about another minute. If we would have waited for the ambulance, we're not sure how much oxygen he would have been deprived of. So this is what we do. This is our job. I mean, we go through training and we do this every day.